Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Tuesday. This is the day that they have to pick the apples on the other side. Hey, welcome back to the ranch. I'm Mr. Dawson, and I'm here to take you on some discoveries around the ranch and play some games so that we can learn how to read and write. I wonder what we can find in the bucket today. I wonder. Oh, you know what I found? I found this. You have to always know that when you're working on stuff like this, that you can do it. Don't think it's hard. You always have to have that I can do it attitude all the time, no matter what, because you know what? You can do it. What letter? Oh, I, I told you I've been on the ranch and I've been picking some letters. What did I pick today? Would you like to find out? Here it is. It's the letter R. Can you say R? Yes, this is the letter R. This is the uppercase R, and this is the lowercase R. We're gonna study the letter R today. Isn't that awesome? Okay, like always, I like to play a game where you're finding the letter R. So here we go. Can you find the letter R in this video? All right. Here are some letters. This time, we're looking for the letter R. Can you find the letter R? Is this the letter R? No, not that one. How about this letter? Is this the letter R? Man, you guys are so smart. How about this letter? Is this the letter R? No. Man, I can't fool you guys. Can not Can you find it? Point to the letter R. Wow, you guys are so smart. Yes, this is the letter R. Er is for R. You did it. I have so much fun looking for the R. I hope you have fun as well. Did you find the R? I knew you would. Let's investigate a little more about the letter R. I have my dress, uh, trusty dusty pen, and we're gonna look at the R on these lines. Remember, I have a top solid line, and a dotted middle line, and a solid bottom line. And they're there to help us write the letter R. Let's take a look at the uppercase, which some people call a capital. It's either capital R or uppercase R, whichever. Okay, so when we do our uppercase R, I'm gonna start at the top. And then I'm gonna go down, all the way down to that bottom line, and I'm gonna stop. Pick up my pen, go back to the top, go around, back to the middle, come out a little bit, and go diagonally down. And there is our uppercase R. Let's do it again with our finger. Start at the top, go all the way down to the bottom, and then stop, pick up our finger, go back to the top, go around and back into the middle, and stop, come over a little bit, and then da go down diagonally. And that is our uppercase R. Now, let's do our lowercase R. Now, when we're doing our lowercases, what are you doing? You're also looking for clues to which animal letter R might be. Here we go. When we do our lowercase r, I'm going to start in the middle. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom and stop. Go back up to the top and do a round top right there. There is our lowercase r. Let's do it again with our finger. I start in the middle and I go down, and then I stop, 
and I come right back up here and go around, do a round top, and then stop. So there we have our uppercase R and our lowercase r. It's time to investigate the lowercase r a little bit more to figure out which animal letter it might be. Let me come over here and get my animal letters. Are you remembering the animal letters? By now you should be. Let's take a look at them. Remember, I have the monkey letter that starts in the middle, and then when you go down, it goes below the line. That's a pretty cool letter. And then I have the giraffe letter that starts at the top and goes all the way down to the bottom. Wow. And then I have the chicken letter that starts in the middle and goes down to the bottom. All pretty cool. Let's take a closer investigative look at our letter R to see which animal letter it might be. When I look at the R, I notice that it started in the middle. There it is at the middle line. And then it went down to the bottom line. It stopped. It didn't go below the line, nor did it go all the way up to the top line. So when I look at my letter R, I wonder which animal letter it might be. Could it be a monkey letter? Right, right, it didn't go below the line. So therefore, it cannot be a monkey letter. What about a giraffe letter? Right, it didn't go to the top. It's not at the top, so it can't be a giraffe letter. So if it's not a monkey and it's not a giraffe, that must mean it's a chicken letter. Isn't that awesome? A chicken letter, Woohoo! That's gonna help us know how to write this letter. Well, it's time to look at R a little bit more. Let's talk about the phoneme. Remember, phoneme is just a big fancy word that means the sound that the letter makes. So when I look at my R again, I have my uppercase R and my lowercase R. And here's gonna help us, here's the picture that's gonna help us know the sound that R makes. That's a rose. Can you say rose? Yes. So when I think of rose, I have rrr, 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 rrr. Yes, rrr is for R. Let me get some pictures out of my discovery bucket that's gonna help us. We can play a game. So I have star, I have ruby, I have dinosaur. Oh, we're gonna read a story this week about a dinosaur. And then I have rose. So when I look at those pictures, I want to find the pictures that have the R is for R sound at the very beginning. Let's check out star. S no, it has S, S is for S. How about this one? R Ruby. R R do you hear the R? Yes, I do too. So I know that R is for R. So I'm going to put it up there. How about this one? Dinosaur, d, d, r, d, no, no, not this one. We don't want that one. How about rose, r, rose, r, r, r. Yes, we do want that one. Look at that. R, r, ruby, r, r, rose starts with r, r is for r. Hey, I also noticed that the colors are red and r, r, red has that r sound. So if I was gonna spell red, I'd use the letter r. That is amazing. It's time for some sight words. Remember, sight words are important because if you can remember them in your brain, when I see them in a book, I'll be able to read them. Let's say, oh, this is a good word. How exciting is this word? This is the word or. Can you say or? Yes, let's spell or. O R spells or. Oh, let's go look and see if there's another word up here. Oh, yes. Now, this is a cool word. This is a cool word. This is the word they. Can you say they? Right, they. Let's spell they. Are you ready? T H E Y spells they. That has four letters in it. T-H-E-Y spells they. So today's words are or and they. Isn't that pretty cool? 
What should we do? Oh, yes, yesterday, Professor Giesenberg talked about isolate and identify. And I brought a card to help us look at that a little bit closer. Look, isolate means to put it by itself. And identify means I see it and I know it. So if I look at these letters, R, U, G, I can isolate those and tell them, get the sound that each of them make. So what is R? Oh, we just did that letter. Yes, R, what does R say? Err, right. And then here's the letter U and it says, uh. And here's the letter G and it says, guh. Now I isolated those and when I isolate those and get the, the phoneme that goes with the letter, now I can blend them together to make the word. Here's our picture clue right here. Let's go all the way across. Rug. Did you see that? Let's do it again. Rug. Woohoo! We're doing it. We are reading. We're reading. Let's do it a little bit uh, faster this time. Rug. Rug. What's the word? Right. It's rug. Here's another one. Here's our picture clue. Here's our picture clue. But let's isolate. Let's isolate first. What is this? It's a P. And what's the phoneme for P? Right. It's P, P is for P. What letter is this? I. I is for I. And then what's the last phoneme? G. G is for G. Now we have all the phonemes. Let's blend them together. Pig. 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 We did it. We read that word too. Pig. Now here's my bonus question. Are you ready for my bonus question? Which phoneme and letter are the same? Which, which letter in each word are the same. Let me see, R and P, no, no. How about U and I? No. Ah, the G's. The G's are the same. Where are they? Are they at the beginning? Or at the middle? Or are they at the end? Right, they're at the end. You guys are getting so smart, I can't believe it. I can believe it. Why? Because you can do it. Well, guess what? That's pretty much all the time we have here at Discovery Ranch for you today. But remember what we, we learned today. We learned the letter R and how it says er. We learned how, what kind of an animal letter it is. We found out it's a, oh, that's right, it's a chicken letter. And then we did our two sight words. We did uh, or and they, and then we did some more isolating of the phonemes. We'll see you tomorrow and we're gonna learn even more. Bye! Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun.